The Guild PSA 2000 Shear Welder is designed to weld coil lens on the entry section of your strip processing line. The operation of the model PSA 2000 Shear Welder is very simple and allows the operator to immediately make high quality welds. Initially, the operator inserts the tail end into the slot of the shear and up against the two fixed back edges. Then, operates the foot pedal, cutting a square end on the trailing coil end. The C-frame shear is powered by a 10-inch diameter air cylinder. The shear is of the three-blade construction, which puts all the distortion of the cutting into the slug or scrap piece, allowing the ends to be joined to remain flat. The two upper blades are four-sided reversible to reduce overall maintenance on the machine. As the lower blade moves upwards through the two upper shear blades, a small slug is cut out and discharged into a scrap bin at the back of the machine. Stripper pads contain the strip prior to the shearing operation, assuring there is always a square, burr-free cut. After shearing, the tail end is inserted into the weld station and aligned against the fixed back edge. Notice that the entry weld clamp has been closed and is used as a gauge bar to properly align the tail end piece in the weld clamps. Also, notice that the reversible lower backup bars are of the split elevating type. The Guild model PSA 2000 is the only machine which has this split on the same center line as the torch travel. This allows for consistent positioning of the strip on the center line of the machine and also on the center line of the torch. This unique design also eliminates the need to use a cumbersome gauge bar. After the tail end has been clamped, the new lead end is then sheared in the same manner and positioned into the entry weld clamp and butted against the tail end piece. The design of the PSA 2000 weld station assures that both ends are properly clamped, that both ends are square with each other, and that there is no possibility for a dog leg to be put into the strip. The Guild PSA 2000 is the only portable and stationary end welder that offers the customer a choice between manual and pneumatic clamping. The manual clamps can be used for all gauges of material. Unlike pneumatic clamps, the manual clamps can be positioned anywhere between fully opened or fully closed. This makes manual clamps ideal for light gauge material because the clamps can also act as a strip support table, assuring the strip is positioned properly in the weld station prior to final clamping. For heavier, wider material, the Guild pneumatic clamping offers the following exclusive features. Foot pedal operated air clamps. This feature allows the operator to keep both hands on the strip. The guild design eliminates the possibility of the strip moving due to the operator having to release the strip with one hand to push a button. Maximum clamping force. The guild PSA 2000 uses large one and a half inch diameter air cylinders. This eliminates the possibility of the strip moving under the clamps. Cylinders and hoses mounted at the rear of the machine. The air cylinders and hoses are mounted at the back of the machine out of the way of the strip. This way they are not damaged by the material as the machine is brought in and out of line. At this point, both coil ends are properly butted up in the weld station and we are now ready for welding. The design of the PSA 2000 allows the operator to freely position the torch over the front end of the strip, eliminating the need for jog forward and jog reverse push buttons. Notice that the operator has a stop collar he can use if he is consistently welding the same width of material. Using the collar will assure that he gets consistent repeatability on the front edge of the material. To initiate the weld cycle, the operator simply pushes the purge button and then the weld start button. The weld torch is then driven by a variable speed DC motor. Notice the simplicity of the timing belt drive. This assures that the weld carriage is basically 100% maintenance free. This timing belt is also continuously driven to initiate torch movement the moment the arc is established. This effectively eliminates the possibility of burning the edges of the strip. As the torch gets to the rear edge of the material, an easy access adjustable proximity switch is positioned so that the torch always stops automatically at the same location.
This assures consistent repeatability at the rear edge of the material. After the weld has been completed and the torch has been stopped, the operator opens both clamps and rolls the machine back out of the way and the process line is ready to begin production. Notice the uniform consistency of the weld and the quality of the weld at the edges of the strip. Only one electrical hookup is required on the PSA 2000 control panel. All PSA 2000 models come standard with a universal step-down transformer. This allows us to have machines available for immediate shipment, even to countries overseas with different voltages. A through-the-door fused disconnect to give the operator the most safety when working on the panel. An automatic VCR relay. This relay senses that the weld current has been established before the welding carriage is allowed to travel. In our continued efforts of keeping the customer satisfied, the Guild team has thought of everything to make the PSA 2000 a true standard for other manufacturers to attain. Some of the latest additions to the PSA 2000 include an air hose. This air hose is used to blow dirt off the machine, keeping it clean and easy to use. This will also help reduce maintenance costs later on. A tungsten electrode grinder. Since keeping the tungsten clean is a major part of getting repetitively good welds, we have added a grinder at the machine. In the past, the operator either had to walk across the plant to the nearest grinder, or worse, he welded with contaminated tungstens. Now, with the addition of a tungsten electrode grinder, this can be eliminated. A tungsten holder. After the operator sharpens his tungstens, he can now place them in a tungsten holder. This holder provided at the machine now allows the operator to have clean, sharp tungstens immediately available when needed. The insertion of a new tungsten in the torch is a very simple operation. After the tungsten has been put into the collet and the collet into the torch, the torch is positioned over the tungsten height gauge. This gauge is a machine slot in one of the upper weld clamps and assures the tungsten height below the gas cup is always consistent. Once properly aligned, the collet is tightened to its final position and the torch is put back into the torch holder. The torch holder is vertically and horizontally adjustable to set the tungsten properly over the weld seam. Installation of the PSA 2000 is very simple and generally requires less than one hour to complete. Electricity is brought into the main control panel and normal plant air is hooked up at the rear of the machine. The advantages of using a PSA 2000 shear welder rather than constant re-threading of your process line are reduced downtime. It often takes as much as 15 minutes for an operator to re-thread a process line. With the PSA 2000 shear welder, a weld can be made within one to three minutes. Reduce die damage. Most die damage occurs when tail ends or lead ends of new coils are fed into dies. With the PSA shear welder, you virtually never have a tail or lead end going through the dies. Therefore, this cause of die damage is virtually eliminated. Reduced scrap. When using a PSA shear welder, the amount of scrap is often reduced to the amount which contains the weld. Sometimes its appearance is not critical. Even this part can be used in the ultimate end product. Increased operator safety and performance. With constant re-threading of the process line, the operator has to manhandle lead ends through the process line, getting his hands at or near heavy presses and slitting knives. Since the operator can now easily join coil ends together with the PSA 2000, this is no longer required, thereby increasing operator safety and increasing production. If you're looking to increase production on your strip processing line economically, then you should consider Guild International for your shear welding and strip accumulation requirements. For larger strip sizes, automated zip welding equipment is available.